Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Do you know how to say no 25 different ways? Let's talk about it. Saying no can be tricky because it's often the answer that the other person doesn't want to hear. But do you know what? Sometimes you just have to say no. Don't shy away from the word no. Shy away from means avoid the word no. Sometimes no is the strongest, clearest answer. Maybe someone asks you, hey, can you help me with this project? And you say, no, sorry, I'm really busy. I have too much going on. Great, it's clear, straightforward, and strong. But sometimes you want to say other things beside just no. So today, I'd like to add some tools to your vocabulary toolbox and help you learn more ways to say no for different situations. We already talked about how to say yes in 22 different ways. You can click on the link up here to watch that video. But today, we're going to talk about 25 ways to say no. First, let's focus on 10 ways to say no in normal daily conversations. Then we're going to focus on five ways to say no super strongly, and then 10 ways to say no extra politely. Are you ready? Let's start with the 10 ways to say no in daily conversation. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Nah. Do you want to help me cut vegetables? Nah. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Nah. Do you want to help me cut vegetables? Nah. You just heard me ask, do you want to help me cook dinner? But this question actually sounded like, do you wanna help me cook dinner? Want to often changes to wanna. You're gonna hear this question a lot in this video, so I wanna make sure that you can hear that pronunciation tip. Do you wanna help me cook dinner? Do you wanna help me cook dinner? And how did Dan respond? Well, he said, nah. Or he could have said, nah. Here we have two different choices for really casual no answers. Nah and nah. Nah and nah. As you can imagine, this is pretty casual, so it's best to be used with people you're really familiar with and in situations that aren't too serious. If someone asks you, um, oh, I have an emergency, I really need some help, can you please help me? And you said, nah. It's not too polite. You should decline in one of our other ways we talk about later in polite ways to say no. But when you use ne, it should be for pretty light, informal situations. Hey, do you want some more chicken? Nope. Do you want some more broccoli? Nopers. Hey, do you want some more chicken? Nope. Do you want some more broccoli? Nopers. Let's imagine you're sitting at the dinner table and someone offers you some more chicken, but you're full, you don't want any more, how can you decline? Well, you might say, nope, I've had enough. Nope, I'm full. Nope. Nope. If you want to use this in a slang way, it's just kind of funny, joking, you might say, nopers. <laughs> this is something, as you can imagine, that's not pretty casual and you only want to use when you want to be funny, but you might hear this in TV shows or movies. No burrs, no thanks. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Mm -mm. Do you want to help me cut vegetables? Uh -uh. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Mm -mm. Do you want to help me cut vegetables? Uh -uh. You just heard mm -mm and uh uh. Here, the intonation of your voice is really important. If you say mm mm, it means no. But if you say mm-hmm, it means yes. So make sure that your, your voice sounds like mine. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And when you say uh-uh, uh-uh, you're going from high to low. Mm-mm, uh-uh. This means no. Do you want some more food? I'm all set. Do you want another drink? I'm good. Do you want some more food? I'm all set. Do you want another drink? I'm good. This is a great expression for a restaurant. Do you want some more food? I'm all set. I'm good. I'm all set. I'm good. Let's imagine that you're having lunch with the president of your country. Uh, you should probably say, I'm all set. This is a little bit more polite. It's not super polite. You can use this if you're visiting your uh, your in-laws, or maybe your grandparents' house. If you say, I'm good, 
it's more for casual situations. So if you're at a restaurant that's not too formal and the server asks you, oh, would you like another drink? You could say, I'm good. And this means, no thanks, I don't want any more. I'm good. Let's eat ice cream for dinner. Mm, let's not and say we did. Let's eat ice cream for dinner. Mm, let's not and say we did. Now we're getting into some more advanced ways to say no. Let's imagine that someone asks you something crazy or maybe something a little bit risky. Do you want to have ice cream for dinner? Hmm. Well, maybe you want to be healthy, you want to be a little practical, but you don't want to just kill your friend's energy and excitement, so you want to say something clever. You could say this expression, let's not and say we did. The full expression is, let's not do it, but let's say that we did it. So you're, you're pretending that you did something, but you're not really doing it. So you can imagine the situation where you're driving down the road and you see an old abandoned house and your friend says, hey, let's go check out that house. I wonder what's there. And you're thinking, I don't really want to, but it sounds like a fun idea. You can use this expression. You can say, let's not and say we did. You're kind of laughing at their idea. You're thinking, oh, it sounds like fun, but no way, I'm not going to do it. Let's not and say we did. Let's eat ice cream for dinner. No, no, no. Let's eat ice cream for dinner. No, no, no. When you were a kid, did you ever ask your parents for ice cream for dinner? I know that I did all the time. I loved ice cream. I still do. But my parents said, no, no, no. No, no, no. This triple no is kind of childish. It's something that's often used towards children. So you're going to see in TV shows or movies when someone is saying something towards a child, they might repeat this three times. No, 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 that's not a good idea. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. So if you say this to a friend or a coworker, it's gonna sound a little bit strange, kind of like you're an authority, you're the parent. So make sure that this is directed only towards children. Do you wanna help me cook dinner? No way. Do you wanna help me prepare the turkey? No way, Jose. Do you wanna help me cook dinner? No way. Do you want to help me prepare the turkey? No way, Jose. In the U.S., Thanksgiving dinner is a big deal, but it's also a lot of work. So if I asked Dan, hey, do you want to help me cook dinner? And he said, no way, it's too much work. Maybe he could also say, no way, Jose. <laughs> Just as a little joke, this is pretty strong. And if it means that I need to cook dinner all by myself, I might not be too happy about his answer. But if it was someone else, maybe it could be a little bit of a joke. So this is really strong. No way. No way. Stop. End of conversation. No way. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Not possible. Do you want to help me pour drinks? Never. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Not possible. Do you want to help me pour drinks? Never. The next two ways to say no are also really strong. Not possible. Never. You can imagine if someone said this, it kind of ends the conversation. There's nothing else you can say because that person is a, it has a pretty strong opinion. Not possible. Can you help me with dinner? Never. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess I'll go make it by myself. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Heavens no. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Heavens no. The next strong way to say no is a fun one. You can add any swear word you want here, or you can add a euphemism. A euphemism is kind of a polite, disguised swear word. So you might say, do you want to help me cook dinner? Heavens no, I'm too busy. Heavens no, that seems like a really difficult Thanksgiving dinner you're making. Heavens no, I'm not going to do it. But you can also add any swear word you want here. Heavens is kind of a euphemism, a polite word. You might say, goodness no, that's also a euphemism. Polite, not too bad, but if you want to add a swear word here, it's going to make it extra strong. All right, let's move on to 10 polite ways to say no. Just to let you know, you can add I'm sorry at the beginning of any of these, and it's going to make it even more polite. In fact, you can add I'm sorry before any of these no expressions, but especially with these polite ones, it'll be a good fit. Do you want some more food? Thanks, but no thanks. 
Do you want some more food? Thanks, but no thanks. In this first polite expression, you're not really even saying no. You're saying thank you, thanks, but no thanks. And this is just kind of disguising your answer, which is really no. Do you want some more food? Thanks, but no thanks. Your dinner was great. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want any more. Thanks, but no thanks. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Not now. I'm busy. Do you want to help me cook dinner? Not now. I'm busy. These next three are kind of delaying your answer, which is really no at the moment. But you're saying not now, not this time, not today. You're kind of hinting that maybe you can do it in the future. So it's a little bit softer, a little bit more polite. I recommend if you use this, make sure that it is actually a possibility that you could do it in the future. If someone asks you, "Oh, can you help me paint my house?" That's a really big deal. If you say, "Not today. I have too much going on." Maybe they'll ask you another time, and you might need to say yes because you kind of hinted that you would do it in the future. So if you use this, make sure that it is a possibility that you could do it the next time. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I'm afraid I can't. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I'm afraid I can't. I really like this expression because it's pretty polite. I'm afraid I can't. It doesn't mean that you're scared of something. It just means that you're softening. No. No. Can you help me cook dinner tonight?、Oh, I'm afraid I can't. I have to edit this YouTube video. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Like I need to get it finished now. I'm afraid I can't. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I'm sorry. If only I could. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I'm sorry. If only I could. This expression is kind of an exaggeration. You're gonna see in this expression and the next couple these modal verbs: could, would, and should. If only I could. Here you're kind of imagining some extreme situation. Ah,、oh, in my dreams, if only I could do it. It would be amazing. So instead, you're shortening this expression. If only I could. You're dreaming about helping the other person. You're dreaming about saying yes. Can you help me cook dinner tonight? Oh, if only I could, but I have too much to do. If only I could. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I would if I could, but I can't. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I would if I could, but I can't. Here again, you're seeing these modal verbs. I would if I could, but I can't. This makes it really polite. You're not saying I can't do it. You're saying I would do it if I could do it, but I can't do it. I know this uses a lot of words, but really it makes it more polite because you're softening your answer. I'm sorry, I would if I could, but I can't. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I really shouldn't. I'm sick. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I really shouldn't. I'm sick. This expression is pretty clever because instead of you saying "I can't do it," you're kind of blaming something else by saying "I really shouldn't." This means that something else is stopping you from saying yes. So let's imagine that you need to clean your house because you have some guests coming over, but your partner, your husband, your wife says. Hey, can you、uh, help me cook dinner? And you say, "Oh, I really shouldn't because I need to clean the house." In this situation, you're blaming the house by saying, "I really shouldn't." You have some other priority, and that is the thing to blame. So here, you're kind of pushing off the blame on something else and making it more polite. I really shouldn't. Do you want to help me cook dinner? I'd love to, but I can't. Do you want to help me cook the Thanksgiving turkey? I'm honored, but I can't. These final two expressions include your feelings. I'd love to, but I can't. I'm honored, but I can't. You would use these in situations where someone asks you to do something that involves your expertise, or maybe when they ask you to do something, you feel like it's really special that they asked you to help them. Maybe your friend is having some relationship problems, and they ask you, "Hey, can you、uh, come over this afternoon and help me go through these problems?" But you're really busy instead, and you can't do it. You might say, "Oh, I'd love to come over this afternoon, but I can't. I have too much going on. I'm honored. 
I am honored that you would think that I could help you. That's amazing. Oh, I feel so honored, but I can't. Here you're kind of softening and being polite, but also saying no. Man, you're not very helpful today. But I don't know how to say yes. Oh, maybe you should watch my video, 22 Ways to Say Yes. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Link in the description. Make sure that you check it out. Thanks so much for learning these 25 no expressions with me. Let me know in the comments, were any of these new for you? I hope that this will just help to add to your vocabulary toolbox so that you can say no politely and say no that will fit that situation. Thanks so much and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. I'll see you later. Bye. Do you want to help me cook dinner? <laughs> <laughs>